Hey, what is up? Welcome to another video. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today, I'm going to be using some of the new makeup that I got for my birthday to create this beautiful, wintry, vampy look. This is like my goodbye winter look. Um, I'm freaking hella ready for spring. Raise your hand if you are too. So yeah, um, it snowed here the other day and I'm like over it and ready for spring. So this is my goodbye winter look. So perhaps when I wash this face off tonight, winter will say so long, my friend. I'll see you next year. Here's to hoping for that. Why am I doing these weird things with my hands? I don't know. So if you have not yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you don't miss out on any of my content. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday in the evening, usually around 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So with that being said, Please enjoy today's video and let's get into it. Hey, okay, so let's jump into the video. First of all, I apologize for any background noise that you may or may not hear. Um, it's just like a freaking busy day in my neighborhood apparently. My neighbors are getting their house painted, so it's possible that that noise is like the the sprayer the paint sprayer thing or it's possible that it's like utilities because I have underground utilities and they're working on them a little ways down the street or something I don't know all of our yards are like marked up with that orange paint to let us know that's where they're gonna dig the crap out of our yard so anyways I apologize I can't do anything about it it is what it is uh, let's just roll with it so I'm really excited though, with all that being said, I'm really excited to try this new makeup that I got for my birthday. Um, if you haven't yet watched my birthday haul video, then you should do so. I will link it above right here. But I got the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Light 2 Mont Blanc. I'm hoping this is my shade. I ordered it online and it seems, I did swatch it on my hand when it got here. So, um, that's the only time I've used this, but it seems like it will be maybe a little bit too yellow for me, but um, I think it's something that I can make work. So I'm super excited about this. I've wanted to try this foundation since it came out, which has been a while. So I love the packaging, like this nice matte black. It's kind of matte. I guess it's a little shiny too. Um, lid, and then it's very big. <laughs> it seems big anyway. I don't know. Um, it says shake well before use, so I'm going to shake this bad boy up, give it a little shippy shacky. Who knows? Okay, so I'm just going to go in and use my Wet n Wild sponge like always and just get a good amount on the sponge and let's go into this face of mine. Oh, that's actually a really good shade. That's not very yellow at all. It just looks more yellow in the in the bottle. Oh, that noise is driving me crazy. It's pretty full coverage. I'm sure you all have seen a million and one reviews of this foundation if you're a makeup lover, so. I'm not gonna give you all the details. It's not new, for sure it's not new. It's just new to me, and I've wanted to try it. This is really full coverage. Um, so, checking in about this makeup, I feel like I like it. I like it a lot. I like it, I like it a lot. Um, it looks really good in between my eyebrows, and that is definitely my problem area. I usually get, if it's a foundation that's just not going to do well with my skin, um, I usually get really dry right in here between my eyebrows, and... It's not doing that at all. It's looking really nice on the skin. Another problem area is my nose. And my nose looks great. So, so far so good. I'm not sure how it's going to wear. But so far I'm loving it. I'm going to put a little down my neck. Just to make sure we're all nice and blended in here. Sometimes when I'm trying out a new foundation, one of the... Why is this, sh okay, I love this Tarte shape tape, shape tape. I really like it, but it is so messy. Look at that. All I did was close it. Now it's all over my fingers. 
Like, why? I literally don't understand why. Ugh. Anyway, sometimes when I use a foundation, one of the biggest tests is on how it performs and how it stays looking is if I add concealer over top of it. So not usually under my eyes, usually under my eyes because I don't usually bring my foundation up very far under my eyes, so that's not that much of a test, but down the center of my face is a test for me. Um, even sometimes when I use foundation and it looks great like it does right now in between my eyebrows and on my nose, if I will add concealer to try to highlight the center of my face, things just go all to hell. So let's see if, this bad boy is going to keep looking pretty or not. This is disgust. This bugs me. <sighs> this looks amazing. Okay. This is like an A plus for me right now. That is so smooth. There's no dryness. There's no like cakey thickness going on. It just looks really nice and smooth. And like airbrushed almost. So loving that foundation. I'm gonna give that foundation an A plus plus. A plus plus, A plus plus. Okay, so powder on, bronzer on, blush on. I had me having a little bit of a blush situation because I used this note blush that I got and I believe a boxy charm a while back in the shade Desert Rose. And I forgot how pigmented it is. It's hella pigmented. It's really pretty. It's like this really nice peach shade. Um, but, um, yeah, wow. So this is even after I toned down a little bit. Like I used my beauty blender and some powder and some, so some stuff and I tried to tone it down and it's crazy pigmented, but we're going to roll with it. So the next thing I have, I'm excited about as well. So I bought this mini version of the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal. Um, I do have the, um... Jaclyn Hill collab with them. What is it called? Oh my God, I can't remember the name of it. But I do have that. And I really like that, but it's a very golden tone. And I feel like it's a, I can kind of make it work with my skin in like the summer months, but it is a little bit too dark for me. So I thought I'd get one that's a little bit more toned down. And this is a mini version. It's tiny and adorable. But honestly, I don't go through major, like big size highlights quickly in any way. So look how pretty that is. So I feel like this is going to last me a while. So I'm just going to go in with my Real Techniques brush like always. Ooh. Ooh. Which side did I just put that on? I can't remember. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I think this side. And just apply that. Oh. Mm -hmm. I like to go in like a C shape. So I usually go over my eyebrow a little bit. I haven't done my eyebrows yet, so it doesn't really matter. And down. And then I also am one of those people that like to bring it over further, like toward my cheek. Or toward my nose, excuse me, onto my cheek. And then I'll go back in with my blush brush and blend that in. That's hella pretty. That is just much more fitted for my skin tone than the other Becca highlight that I have. It's lighter. It's it's very opal. It's very opal-esque. So I love it. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control when I think I like it. Moving right along. I got this lovely Morphe palette. This is the 35H. It's just so pretty. And I'm sure what it looks like on the inside. I have no nails still. So it has a little cover with all the names, which I really enjoy. I have swatched a couple of these, but I haven't used them. Look how pretty that is. Oh, I love that. I'm so excited about this. So I don't really know what look I'm going for. I am wearing like a maroon shirt. This is the shirt that I got in my old Navy haul. If you haven't yet watched that video, you should do so. I got some cute stuff. I'll link it above. Um, so I'll probably be wearing this the rest of the day. So I'm probably just going to do something along these lines. Or maybe I'll go crazy and do like a crazy, ooh, this green. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not doing anything along these maroon lines. Look at this green. Ooh, it's like a gold green color. Ooh, mama mia. 
Let's swatch this other one. Ooh, I don't know what to do. Okay, so I've decided what I'm gonna do, but first I'm gonna start off with a transitional shade. So I'm gonna use this bad boy, which is called Shady Behavior, which is so cute. That is such a cute name for a shadow. Good job, Morphe. And just pop that, you know, the usual, just gonna blend that out in my crease. It's a nice transitional shade because it's really subtle. It's not um, anything that's like too dark or too overwhelming. So I feel like this would be one of those shades that you could use alone. Like you just want to add a little bit of something into your crease and then maybe a little eyeliner and mascara. This would be one of those shades. This is a good one. I decided to stick with the nice like bluish gray tones because that's not something I do often in life or on this channel. So I think I'm going to jump into, let's see. I think I'm gonna jump into, oh, Decisions. This nice blue shade right here, which is called Real Deal. And on a small little Luxie brush, I'm just gonna pop that on back into my crease, but further down, I'm not going as high up as I did with the Shady, what was it called? It's such a cute name. Shady Behavior. So this, I can already tell, is one of those shades you have to build up. It's definitely, like in the pan, it looks real dark and pigmented. On the skin, it is kind of an eh for me, but that's okay for this look because I'm just trying to add a wash of blue right now. I'm not... This is not like the shade that I'm necessarily like trying to build up some intense color with or like an intense smoky eye. Just adding a little wash. And I really like this brush, this Luxie brush to apply into the crease, but it's not, for me, it's not so much of a blending brush. See how that added just a little pop of blue in there? I'm gonna do the same to this eye. I felt really lazy today. Like this is just one of those days, you know when you get out of bed and you're just like, you're just not having it. You're like, well, I really need to be productive today, but I don't feel like that at all. Like I'm gonna be productive. Um, Cause I have to be, <laughs> I have a lot of things to do. And I have to work overnight tomorrow night, so um, I don't really like to do a ton of things on the night on the days where I'm going to be working overnight, because it's very possible, actually very likely, that I'm going to get little to no sleep. So um, I like I like to just rest the day before I work it overnight. I go into the shade Wave Maker, which is right here. It's this really deep, dark navy blue. It's stunning and outer V to deepen up oh okay well or not there we go okay that was weird I dipped it in like nothing came off which was interesting so but second dip fine as I continue to blend it out it's like those two shades together, those two blue shades together are almost creating like a purple tone. Which is interesting. That's so pretty though. Ooh, I like that so much. Okay, so now with my finger, I'm gonna go into this nice grayish blue shade. The name of it is Sandals. And look at that lovely shade. I'm just gonna pop that onto my eyelids. Oh, that is so pretty. It definitely looks more gray and pan than when I put it on. When I, having it on, it definitely has like much more of a blue tone to it. Okay, now just for the hell of it, I'm gonna go into this blue shade right there. And the name of that shade is Singled Out. I'm gonna use that same e.l.f. brush. And just see how that performs. I'm still putting that like in the outer V area. I just want to, I just kind of want to see what it looks like, to be honest. 
And I also want to add a little bit more blue to this because I feel like it kind of purpled out a little bit, which is interesting. I'm obsessed. Okay, I'm going to do my under eyes and then I'll go off camera and pop on my lashes and all that jazzification. Let's see about these under eyes. I feel like I just need to smoke them out. Like, I'm already so smoky right now. Oh my God. I'm going to Real Deal. I think I used that color on camera already. And pop it under eye. Under my eye, not under eye. What the hell? Okay, so I'm going to go into the shade Cool Floaty. <sighs> so cute. Which is this guy. Sorry, this palette is huge. Which is this guy. And I'm going to do that on my inner corner. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go off camera to do my eyelashes and my eyebrows. And then we will be right back to do the lips. I'm so excited about this look. Loving it. I'll be right back. All right, so eyebrows are done, eyelashes are on. We are so looking hot and good to go. Only one last thing is lips. Um, so another gift for my birthday that I got is this NYX Powder Puff Lippy in the shade Detention. So I know that this is like, I'm gonna look like a vampire today, but you know what? YOLO, right? That's our motto here, YOLO. So it's an interesting application situation that rhymed. Um, I guess you just kind of squeeze it to where I did, I did already swatch it on my hand, but I haven't used it on my lips. Kind of just squeeze it until it starts coming out there. Interesting. I can already tell I'm going to struggle to do this without lip liner on, but you know what? <sighs> it is what it is. Okay. I feel like that's as good as it's going to get without me using like a lip pencil or a lip brush to apply it. Um, it's a really pretty color. I am really digging my vampy look. It's like saying goodbye to winter, you know? It's like, goodbye winter, here's one last winter look for you. And I'm... <laughs> I say stupid crap. I know. I know I say stupid crap, but it is what it is. I actually really like the color of this. It's super pretty and very winterish. I probably wouldn't use this for like spring or summer. Um, but fall and winter, I would definitely rock this lip shade. It's really difficult to apply the applicator, just like the, the round puff ball. It just makes it to where there's absolutely no precision whatsoever, which is difficult when you have thinner, smaller lips like I do. Um, but with that being said, it's not the worst, most difficult thing I've ever used. So I'm going to give it a solid six out of 10, you know, and the color's lovely. Thank you, Nyx. All right, so that is the end of this video, friends. Thank you so much for tuning in and for sticking with me. If you made it till the end, you're a sexy beast and you know it. So good work on being sexy. Stay safe out there. Stay healthy. Wash your damn hands. Like, I don't know why you're not doing that already, but please do. And take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. Bye.